When you're walking out to this boardwalk and you're looking over at the water, it just looks like a flat area. But when you look below the surface, the Jawbone Marine Sanctuary is just teeming with life. A particularly important part of our marine systems are kelp forests, and kelp forests are basically groups of large brown algae. Some people refer to it as seaweed and they provide homes and shelter for many different types of marine animals, including invertebrates such as sponges, sea stars, sea urchins, mollusks. There's also many smooth rays and fiddler rays, port jacks and sharks, Australian fur seals, as well as many different fish species. In recent years, the numbers of the native purple sea urchin in the bay have rapidly increased and it's become a problem, especially in the Jawbone Marine Sanctuary because they're removing large amounts of algae and leaving huge urchin barrens, areas of just bare, rocky reef. Purple sea urchins in the Jawbone Marine Sanctuary have caused a 90% reduction in kelp forests over the last decade. Like when you get overabundant populations of kangaroos or koalas on land that become a problem when they're eating too much of the native habitat. It's a similar thing with the urchins in the marine sanctuaries. Because they've become so overabundant, even though they are a native species, they are having a pretty negative impact on the other native species that live in the marine environment. In a healthy marine environment, you would be looking at about two sea urchins per square metre, but in some areas of the Jawbone Marine Sanctuary, we have found up to 20 urchins per square metre. There's a few reasons we suspect that the native sea urchins have become overabundant. The decrease in water quality entering the bay, overfishing within the bay, and another is the increase in water temperature due to climate change. The marine system in the bay is very complex and delicate and since European colonisation we have come in and disrupted that. One of the key roles of Parks Victoria in protecting our marine sanctuaries is to protect the communities of plants and animals that live in the marine sanctuary. A major project is currently underway in Victoria to try and understand the changes that are occurring in the marine environment. Parks Victoria has teamed up with Deakin and Melbourne universities, conducting trials removing urchins and measuring the return of kelp to the marine environment. From what we've seen so far, in areas where we've removed urchins, the kelp forests have been coming back, but we do need more scientific data to determine whether this is working in the long term. This means conducting regular monitoring surveys where Parks Victoria and other groups that we work with go out and count the number of urchins, kelp and other algae that we see in the marine sanctuary. Over time, this data can show us if the reduction in the number of urchins is leading to an increase in the amount of algae and therefore a healthier marine ecosystem. I've always loved the marine environment ever since I was a little girl. I remember the first time I put a mask and a snorkel on and got to go underwater and see the fish in the marine life. I just thought it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. And it's really important that we protect these areas so they can be used by everyone. Nature in general is really important for people's health. And I definitely come here on my days off. We can all do our part to keep places like the Jawbone Marine Sanctuary and the wider Port Phillip Bay happy and healthy by reducing our waste at home, picking up litter, making sure we're cleaning up after our dogs, not tipping chemicals or oils down the drain. And if you're a student, one great thing that you can do would be to organise a beach cleanup with your school. Jawbone Marine Sanctuary is just a really important place to protect so that everyone can enjoy it. <laughs>